Hello graduates, it's Stella from Meeple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Ice and Idols from Inside Out Games. I thought I hated the Australian winter, but this is a whole other level. Oh, it took me weeks to get here, maybe even months, who knows? Through the ice and snow, the blizzard, I finally found the Ice and Idols Temple. Well, the top part anyway. Oh, gotta get to work. Oh, what am I doing? I'm on an important expedition to uncover this ancient temple. For those who find it, we'll unlock the powerful secrets that will give you powers to rule the world. Or great health. Or able to always roll the best dice result possible. Works for me. Ooh. Okay, gotta keep digging. Chat soon. The game plays two to four players with mechanics such as action points, modular board, and pick up and deliver. The game is of light to medium complexity. In Ice and Idols, you found the Ice and Idols temple. Well, congrats. But you must make your way through the pathway tiles, navigate through the walls to gain various idols, to deliver them to upgrade your power or end game points. Phew, all in the day work for me. Think Indiana Jones. Inside the temple, you'll find ice floor tiles where you need to move around, rotating and moving the tiles or the whole temple could rotate, hopefully to your advantage. On your turn, you have five action points to spend. Costing one point each, you can move, pick up an idol, or deliver the idol. You can also use your personal or upgraded power at the stated action cost. Once you've done your turn, it goes to the next player and keep going until four out of five scoring tracks are full. The main things you're doing is to move, must be along the pathways here. Walls would block you, so calculate your moves carefully. Then you can pick up an idol under you, place it in your storage. You start with one space, but can be upgraded to hold two. Once you get above the right area, you can deliver the idol. Either move it to your upgrade slot of the corresponding type and color to unlock a new power, Remember that upgrade I was talking about? Yes, that is how you get there. Or you can discard it to put your research marker on the scoring track to score points. Other upgrades include ability to rotate tiles, moving the tiles, extra action point each turn, and rotating the tempo. Cool. Now, just like an Indiana Jones movie, yup, you know it, it's coming. The temple fights back. Placing your upgrade on your board or the cube on the scoring track could trigger an event. Shifting tiles, collapsing tiles, and rotating temple are some of the things that could happen. Could ruin your plan, but could also get you closer to your destination. Sweet. When you put your research marker, there is this action that lets you shift the score sideways. These are the scores for each cube you have in the column at the end of the game. Get the highest scoring ones to where most of your cues are for the best result. Once four out of the five tracks are full, game and triggers. You score the track, secret objective for cube placement, and points for completing your five upgrades. The awesome treasure hunter that you are, when you have the most points, you'll be awarded for those powers I mentioned in the intro. Ah, just rewind if you missed it, okay? Oh, the mighty one! Please grant me the power! You now roll dice well. Woohoo! Ice and Idols takes place in the same universe of Block and Key, which is an earlier game by the same publisher. The two games are completely different though. In Block and Key, you're placing 3D polyomino pieces to score objectives. Look at those multi level flaws. In Ice and Idols, at first, planning is key. But towards the end of the game, events will make pathway tiles disappear. You must be able to adapt your strategy to it. Upgrading your powers to shift the floor is important. So does one that rotates tiles. Oh, 
and rotate the tempo. <laughs> hmm, maybe additional action would be nice too. But I do need to start scoring eventually. Okay, I like my engine building and ability to get out of prickly situations, all right? You may get stuck unable to deliver your idol because the floor is missing. What do you do? Make sure you have the power to move the tiles. You just gotta balance the engine building and scoring the points. Ah, you got this. Easy peasy to navigate through the moving floors. You can even use your character's power. That's right. Like spending four action points to skip a tile or three points to swap tiles. All right, let's get to the idol business. No, not American idols. It's ice and idols. Get to it and you'll enjoy the secret power you'll unlock. So thanks for watching folks. Check out Ice and Idols project page. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. Please like, subscribe, let me know and share this video if you enjoy it. I also share my board games journey on Instagram and our other YouTube channel, Maple University Shorts and Life. Hopefully I will see you there too. See you next time.